Hi, and welcome back to my channel for the love of organizing. I'm Laura, and I share my tips on creating an inspired home and life you'll love with budget-friendly finds. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few thrifted and antique store finds that we've put to use on our coffee bar and in our kitchen and dining room. So let's jump in. Ever since we thrifted the pretty Hallmark plate that you see here in the center over the coffee bar, our search began for a few more complimentary plates. Now we were fortunate enough to come across the two Johnson Brothers plates with the rose designs um, during a trip to Jacksonville. And that left room for two more plates just to balance everything out. This small plate was the perfect size and the antique store owner already included more information about its history on the back, which was really nice. It's a beautiful piece of history in white and blue. I came across this scalloped edge plate for just a dollar at a local thrift store, and I had an idea that was worth a try at such a great price. So I used chalk paint to neutralize the center area of the plate just to ensure the text didn't show through. I let that dry completely, and then I printed out this shabby chic pattern from the Graphic Stock website. And just a heads up, I tried this with a few different types of paper, and I found that the glossy photo paper worked best and didn't bleed. I found mine at the Dollar Tree. Then um, I went ahead and located a plate that was the right size for tracing um, in that center area, and I cut out my print. And then it was time for Mod Podge. A little goes a long way and you can usually find this small size at the Dollar Tree or any craft store. I covered the back of the print with a thin coat of Mod Podge and then quickly I placed it on the center of the plate and this is where I used a bit of pressure with my paintbrush as I added a very thin layer of Mod Podge to the front to quickly get a nice clean finish without any wrinkles. Now this takes a little finessing and I was sure to work on the edges so that everything would dry with a nice seal. Here I'm still working my way around the plate and when I was happy with the result, I let it dry overnight. Now it's certainly not a vintage piece, but it's a one of a kind and I think it has some charm. Next we saw this antique tea kettle and fell in love with the stripes and florals. The stamp on the bottom is faded, but you can still see Gibson England W765. A few more items. This honey jar caught my eye, as I've seen similar at artisan shops during our travels. This was under $5 and is wonderful for those who want a little honey with their tea. Moving on to the dining room, you may have seen the silver tray in one of my Instagram postings recently. After the cookies were enjoyed, I wanted to leave the tray out so I would remember to polish it regularly, and it was just too pretty to put away. We are really enjoying it in our dining room and are having fun with it. Lastly, you may have noticed we painted the dining room walls with textured stripes. We wanted to keep the walls in the same color family as the rest of the house, but add a little bit more of a formal look to this space. Now here's a photo I snapped as we were setting up for a sprinkle we hosted a few weeks ago, just to give you a better idea. And I'll put the info on the paint we purchased below and link to a few tutorials if you're interested in creating your own striped wall. It's such a low cost way to add instant impact. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i love interacting with you so leave me a comment below when i'm not here on youtube i'm over on instagram snapchat and facebook and would love to connect with you there as well